So, let's have a look at the teams. So excited for Swiss. Wow, thanks. Yes, yeah, Swiss might be a bit of a, of a funky meme, to be honest. So, that is Teamfight Tactics, I believe. So... That is going to be a pretty strong team, I think. Where's I, I, is Sind playing? I think Sind is actually playing in the uh, in the AT, I believe. Uh, I don't know who he's playing with though. Actually, who is Sind playing with? I've got no clue, to be frank. Actually, uh, who he's actually playing with? It could be pretty interesting to see that. So I think we are actually going to see some strong teams uh, coming through here into the into the tournament. Till not going on the AT. Unfortunately, not. I don't have a team. Uh, sadly, um, because, well, like, quit the game, right? So, yeah. Like, frogs are not actually allowed here. If you guys put frog emojis, I will be forced to, uh, to, uh, to time you out, right? Like, that's how it's gonna go. So, let's see. Who is... Let's see who, uh, Sin is playing with. So, we've got Tramadax on Mirage. Actually, I, I imagine he's not actually gonna play this. Like, he, um, will almost certainly end up playing Rev. Uh, I would imagine that in the in the later on games, like these kind of games, will not be. Um, it's not going to be a threat for uh, for this team until we actually have the uh, God of Slayers, Boyce, uh, Zintrax here as well, and then Pumi. I actually don't know who this guy is, uh, but he's on Hollowsmith, so that's probably good. Yeah. This is a good class, guys. You, you, you're going to want one of these on your team. Certainly now, actually, especially with, well, with Scourge gone, you really want one of these on your team now. Holy shit. Uh, so, yeah, we've got quite the team here. So, we've got Double Warrior. Boyce. And I, I, I'm going to be really interested to see what Boyce plays. Like, Boyce probably going to be one of the, uh, uh, the, one of the best, if not the best warrior uh, in the game. And he is playing a base war right now. He's been experimenting with this a little bit on stream. I wonder if he'll actually play this um, in more difficult matches. He may just be kind of playing a bit of a... Bit of a meme build right now, uh, and be switching up, but uh, we'll see if we if you, if you end up seeing like, if he ends up uh, playing this and Zintrex playing the more traditional uh, spell breaker approach here, you know, the more traditional spool bruker. Uh, I, I'm honestly I'm not really going to watch that much of this game because this is going to be a pretty harsh stomp here. Uh, blue team, they are going big. I think this is a hybrid fireball actually as well here. Yeah, it's actually hybrid symbolic avenger. A symbols build here, so I mean that's a that's kind of an interesting one, isn't it? Let's see how it fares against the Mesmer. Uh, meanwhile, things are going on over at far. We have the red team invading big, going into this Weaver uh, and the blue Mirage with the Warrior Hollow combo. I imagine blue team is really going to struggle with this. Yep, the Weaver, he's dead. The Rampage connects the Rock throw. Oh, and then the jump as well. This Mirage, he's fucked too. And there you go, a quick clean up there. No points captured for either side. There was an invade again from the blue team. But I don't think that's going to go too well. Zintrex and Tramadex here with Syndrona coming in here as well for the big steal. The, here comes the big, big steal. And that should, well. Interestingly enough, though, the Firebrand was able to kind of shove the Mirage away, shoving Tramadex away. Oh, uh, yeah, like this, this probably isn't really going to go. I think we're better off in these earlier rounds, guys. Just kind of checking out the teams, seeing what's on the menu. You know, you got to see what's on the menu here. Because uh, this is almost certainly going in favor of the red team. Like, as soon as they have these nodes locked down, they probably won't really be losing them ever again. Hollowsmith going into the Mirage, doing some big, big damage. Uh, no one who streamed know who he is, including Sin. He is good, though. Well, there you go. Now we know. So, uh, you know, there's probably some uh, new lads who have been coming around here. Pumi. You know, there's probably some new boys coming on the scene since I've been around. You know, I've been away for... You know, like a month, well, two months, really. Well, I haven't played PvP like three months, really. So, you know, I've been a bit out of it. So, yeah, this guy, he's dead, though. He got to, oh, Timper. He's got the invo. I think he's going to get, oh, he actually gets stopped. Dude, Timper, the god gamer, getting the insane Weaver Stomp with the Obsidian Flesh for the invo. Taking out Sind as well. Is Blue Team going to make a comeback? Insane. Insane, guys. Absolutely insane. Boyce now forced onto the tree, being chased down by three men. Rampage, though, is probably going to allow him to escape out of this. I should think, yeah, he is probably going to be fine there. He finds himself face-to-face, -face, though, with a firebrand. He could probably just take him out. Uh, you know, that when you see that, that's free food, guys. However, there's a lot of blue team here. But, ooh, hang on now. Hollow's been getting some work done onto Boyce. But a lot of healing, a lot of sustaining coming through from those juicy, juicy might stacks and that tactics trait. Blocking all of the love over the players, getting those blocks, getting those evades for the might makes right. Look how much healing he's got. It's so strong. 
He's got no cooldowns though. Boyce flailing around wildly, trying to not be dead. Sin gonna end up in a 1v2 into the Hollow, and the Weaver gonna have to disengage there. He's getting the hell out. Blue team losing this 2v2. Unfortunately over here, getting annihilated here. Sin coming in to finish off the ferocious Warlord. And yeah, they pretty much got control of this game. And, and this is going to be the end of the game, really. Um, I don't think blue team will uh, be able to recover much. Let's go ahead and check out some of the other teams. If we can find some of the other teams. Ah, here we go. Oh, I, oh these it's these guys. Yeah, it's like the Silvari Rev team. Yeah, yeah, I, I know these guys. It's like the Filling Red Bars team. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're actually struggling right now into this blue team. Of, uh, you know, well, it's kind of a similar setup here, actually, as well. You know, you've still got the Firebrand. Now, in this meta that we're going to see, I, I still expect to see a lot of Firebrand. I think some people will play Firebrandless and play uh, more of a, you know, a roaming comp, an assassination comp, very, you know, with very heavy focus on mobility. I think you, that's going to be the main difference in play. You see, you're going to see, uh, you're going to see two approaches, right? Uh, you're going to see the, the team fight oriented comp with the Firebrand. You're going to see some Firebrand as well. Like Cinder and his team going without the Firebrand. Just going for like full roaming, full side. In, in particular, sides as well. Like, to be honest, I think this is really great for teams that have voice on them. Because you can just abuse them on the side nodes really hard. Uh, and well, if you have like double warrior, you can just like troll the sides really hard and just win those 1v1s and control the map uh, that way. Especially when you've got the thief there as well. Like the thief can be, just be so mobile, plusing in, getting kills here and there. Like I think that's going to be a really effective strategy we see here. And it's going to be really interesting to see how that actually goes down uh, into a team. I hope that the finals are at least somewhere down uh, in the finals. We're going to see kind of that clash between these two styles, like the team fight and the mobility approach here. To be honest, I would, I think I would even probably favor the mobility approach at this point, right? Uh, I think Firebrand is sufficiently nerfed. I just don't think you'll be able to keep up. You won't be able to keep tempo uh, with just the, these um, kind of high octane rotation compositions that you're going to be probably seeing emerge over the, you know, the, the coming weeks, coming months in these tournaments. It'll be exciting indeed. Uh, we see, is this a dagger spellbreaker? Look at that, boys. Fucking dagger offhand spellbreaker from Mozik. My man. Red team are back in control here as well. They're going big. They're back in the mix, dude. They are back in the mix. Getting the top buff there as well. Those extra points, really, really speedy. There's one funny thing, actually, about the kill countertron that you have here. If you um, get top buff, it will think that... Um, <laughs> It will think that you're getting a kill every second. If you have, I'm still, I, I think I can actually fix that. I think I know how to get rid of that. Um, but yeah, it will, it will actually be very difficult to get rid of that because if you got a kill at the same time as a point ticks over, then that's the same as getting a triple top buff thingy. Um, but I'll work on it. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do, man. To see if I can fix that bug. But SPP is the most boring of me and Guild Wars. So yeah, maybe, well, maybe it's not for you. Maybe you just don't like it. That can, that can, that can happen, dude. That can happen. And it's actually a little bit of a close game. Blue team definitely falling very far behind now, losing their Firebrand and their Holosmith. About to lose their Thief and probably their Holosmith and maybe even this Mirage down at the bottom buff. That Mirage 1v1ing a Rev here. However, the NG coming down as well and Mozik also getting in the mixer. But yeah, the Rev actually looking like he's able to take out this Mirage in a 1v1, especially with this uh, Spellbreaker moving in here as well. Uh, the Thief uh, moving in here too from, uh, you know, Seikasan. Moving, going for the channel. That's very cheeky. He's not going to get that. There's no way he's going to get that. No, yeah, he does not get it. I think he wants to go for it, though, just to try and get that underway. Like, removing any hope of blue team coming back. If, if blue team, if blue team yield this way, if they end up getting triple capped here, they have almost no way of coming back in this game. So they kind of have to win this, or they have to stall it and then somehow reclaim that. They're actually doing an okay job of this. Like, like blue, notice what's happening here. Like, red team is committed very hard to the bottom buff here. Uh, and as a result of that, blue team has been able to neutralize them. Oh, losing that 1v1, though, uh, is really, really bad. Fusion being able to take down the Holosmith in that 1v1 without the Holosmith is, uh, disengaging is a really, really, really bad um, bad thing for the blue team. Because that means they are going to lose that map presence, lose that ability to make that comeback here. And they are denying the buff here pretty marvelously. The uh, blue thief can probably stall for a large amount of time. Actually, red team abandoning the buff, abandoning the thief here. This might end up being... Uh, quite an interesting situation here. I think the Hollow can deny that as well. Is that Firebrand gonna die? Oh no! Oh my god! Red team actually fucked up so badly there. Silvari Rev coming in, but that's not gonna be enough. He's gonna die too. I think Blue Buff 
uh, Blue Team might end up getting this bottom buff here. Wait, no! Safari Ref! Is he pulling off the 1v2? He's pulling off! He's gonna do it! He's gonna get the 1v2! Gets the kill on the Thief. The Hollow, though. But here comes Bolt of Gossamer. It's not enough. He nearly gets the 1v2. Oh, and the Thief doesn't die either. Oh, uh, okay. Well, never mind then. But still, um, Blue Team will be definitely back in it after getting this buff here. They're definitely going to be back in the mix. Lol, oh, guys. Lol. You are trash from Silvari Rev, but he just got dumpstered by trash, if that's the case. He kind of roasted himself there, if you really think about it. Now, every single node is now owned by Blue Team. Blue Team just lost all the momentum, every single bit of momentum they had. Like, I think they can win. Like, Blue Team have got to feel some hope right now, but they just got knocked. And they're like, they can't die now. You can't. And what is it? What are these weeb names? You can't die, dude. You can't die. Okay, he's not dying. He's okay. He's alright. And they're gonna get Mozik too. Mozik in so much trouble here. In a 1v3. Not good. But that 1v3 has allowed Red Team to kind of get back on the map. But Blue Team is gonna have two kills up. They got the Firebrand. They're gonna have the Warrior down here. Red Team can't- Oh no! Not top buff! It can't be! This is huge, guys. If Blue Team gets top buff, this game is over. I don't, oh no, they're not going to get it. Young nearly dies to a big warrior F1 swipe arena. Oh, Sacred Shield. He wants to go for the channel. Look at those giant Norn hitbox effects there. He wants to go for it. He can't do it though. Fusion's doing a great job. Trying. What? Uh, can't, filling red bars is down again. Oh, that is that GG? Wait, no. Red team doing a good job of stalling out the buff while they capture the nodes once again. The Mirage pushing into Silvari Rev. This should be uh, pretty okay. No, the Mirage. He's going to lose a 1v1. Oh, no. No, the Rev's dead. I think he's fucked. Oh, no. Silvari Rev. Oh, he's down. Oh, that's bad. That is really bad for our red team here. Is he going to flame? Do it. Flame him. Do it, do it, do it. Go on, talk shit. Oh, no. That's disappointing. Oh, he's not saying anything. Okay, never mind. Back to the action, guys. Back to the action. Oh, filling red bars dies, but was able to come back. Blue team not able to lock this down. Oh, but hang on a minute. They need this res. They get the signet. That's a very nice signet from filling red bars. No, could red team be? I think red team are going to turn this around. Blue team, they wasted too much time on the buff. They weren't able to get it, and they go down here. And the Firebrand's coming in with the support. They, I don't think Red... No, Blue Team cannot get that revs. Not with Silvari Rev here for the cleave. I think the th Red Team threw so hard, but Blue Team threw far harder. This was hammer throwing at the Olympics, guys. They absolutely hit the back of the net with that throw. I can't believe it. They had it in the bag, but they couldn't close out the buff. Red Team... Looking incredibly strong right now. Blue team only one node. Maybe if they can somehow decap middle, they can hold this. But the thief got the... Oh, the thief won his 1v1 into the other thief as well. This is an insurmountable lead for the red team. They get the top buff as well. And blue team is going to descend to the depths. Yeah. Nice. Actually hyping this. Dude, why the fuck not? Let's have fun, dude. Why does everyone have to be so much of a Debbie Downer these days, man? What's going on, dude? Like, why can't we have some fun? Okay, what's this? So excited for Swiss. Wow, thank you. Right, let's, let's check this shit out. Let's check it out. Is this... What is this team? Aha! Aha! So, this is a team to watch out for. And yeah, it's going to be a very stompy game. Uh, and this is the boys. This is Chunsu, Synod, Flandre, Sakiki, the team fight men. Okay, that's what they are. They like the big dick fights. I would love to see these guys versus Synod, actually. I think that would be great to watch. This is the classic comp, Synod. He's basically doing the same thing. Instead of being a Scourge, he's a Hollow now. He's going to be with Chunsu with the double rev. Fly and Sakiki on rev. Bringing that team fight tactics, guys. Right? Team fight tactics. I like it. That's very, very good indeed. Congrats. Well, this is going to be a good game. Well, this isn't going to be a good game because they're going to get absolutely shot on. But, uh, yeah, 
It's just kind of the good old faithful. You know, you've got Valor, you've got Honor, you've got Firebrand from Chunsu. The exact same build as before. Uh, flock runes for a bit more durability. Like, I think you actually see... You might see more of the Flock rune, because I think um, Monk rune was also popular, but I think you're going to want that extra 10% health, because now you don't have a Scourge to kind of boost your ass, right? Like, you're going to need you're gonna need to be a bit... You don't have... You can't counter-pressure yourself as well. Like, the Hollow can. And I think that's why we see Synod on Hollow here. Like, Hollow Smith is going to be that class that almost replaces the Scourge in a lot of... In a, in a, in a big way, you know? It's, it's still... It's a bit the same thing. It's a team fight class, big AoE damage, counter pressuring for the Scourge. Yeah, it's gonna be big. Red team combo. I don't know what they're. Yeah, red team a bit weird here. I don't know what's going on there. Double Mirage Dragon Hunter. Uh, but yeah, they obviously not a very close game. But yeah, just the standard stuff here from both these teams. You have got the Hollow Smith build, leadership rune there for the A, the big big AoE clans. Flandre. I wonder. Okay, so yeah, just the standard Weaver here as well. Arcane Weaver. Uh, here. Water as well. Uh, the choice there to go with the, you know, Arcane. This res trait. I think Flunder really likes Weaver for the res trait in the team fights. Like, where he'll just like, bam, go for the res, like, in the team fight when he's there as well. He's got the AoE CC too. So, I think a solid, uh, a solid class or a solid pick. It's definitely his kind of side noter of choice here. But, yeah, almost, uh, just a very traditional approach almost with uh, what blue team is going with here. Just, they're going to win the fights. They're going to try and get in the team fights. Get in a 5v5, in a 4v4, and they're going to win the 5v5 and the 4v4. And then from there, they snowball the map, and they control it, and they win. Right, like That is their plan there. Let's see if it works. So Because that is, uh, you know, that might be a thing of the past these days, guys. Like That might not happen anymore. Um, but let's see if they can make it happen. Let's see if they can make it a reality. I want to see the Goku team. Is Goku playing? I want to see... Aha! I want to see this team. Is this the Hideous Hero team? I... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I be... This... Ah! Oh. This is the... Um... It is still a meme team. You've got Goku. You've got uh, Faileth here. You've got Zartak. So it's kind of a French setup here, guys. You know, it's French. Um, you got Luana, Goku, fucking Zartak, bringing, repping that French Mafia setup here, guys. And then you've got Double Hollow here as well. So, like, once again, no farming. You see a farmer that's coming. And you know what? I think Deadeye could be, um, really fucking troll now, dude. Holy shit. Like, Deadeye is just a, a, a big meme, man. Like, a big meme. He's gonna snipe people. Oh, look at the snipe! Dagger Pistol V. Well, Dagger Pistol V is not gonna be enough here. He's gonna go for the big snipe. Dagger Storm has been enabled on this thief, but he's in a lot. Oh, it got reflected. He nearly killed himself there. That's quite funny, actually. Yeah. What's Luana traits? Let's see. It's Wonder Amulet. Just this, this is standard Mirage setup here. Bountiful Disillusionment. The big boons. The big, big boons. Getting those shadows going out there. Big Condiades. I mean, Mirage, it's one of those builds that's kind of fallen out a lot of favor. Like, it's nowhere near as uh, obnoxious as it used to be. Like, abusing that Chaotic Interruption, which is... Now a completely different trade, so it's uh, certainly not as strong as possible. There are still some people who you know are stalwart Mirage mains. They love Mirage. Luana, certainly one of them, goes big on those, you know, those nasty conditions. And top buff secure for red, but it's way, way too late for that. They're all going to die. This double hollow, I think, is something that can really work here. So, I mean, look at those boons. Like, double hollow, you've got to watch out for that. Like, if you're in, even if you're in a team fight, there's going to be so much CC. So much damage, so much cleave coming out here that if they're ever in, in, in any kind of like large situation, if the, if the firebrand dies quickly or if they actually, if they're able to get kills early on, then it won't matter if there's a firebrand on the enemy team, right? They're just going to shut them down and get kills immediately, especially with the dead eye there as well. Uh, these guys have a lot of uh, surprise damage that can just come out of nowhere. You can just die right out of this. Like the rock is going to get thrown at you. Fail is going to snipe you. He's going to get the big snipe. As well, then you've got the 1v1 and you've got Luana there as well for that too. So yeah, a lot of um, interesting stuff there, interesting composition. Yeah. Ah, let's have a look at the other French. Let's have a look at Esprit. Let's see what he, who he's playing with. Yep. Let's check it out, you know? Ah, ah, yeah. So yeah, this is uh, Flash. Uh, Graukaton, Esprit, free castings. Yeah, these are some... Familiar phases here. Uh, yeah, ah, see? I, I told you, people didn't believe me when I said that some people played around with Stoic Demeanor. And yeah, I thought that 
Uh, Grok Tom was actually the guy who did that, and I'm ab I was absolutely correct. So yeah, yeah, you can you can tell me how correct I was, um, you know, for for doubting me when I said the people don't play with the trait. And this actually this trait got buffed recently, so maybe a bit of a big buff to Hybrid Firebrand actually is Stork Demeanor. He'll be able to do AOE slow AOE aids in these team fights with those big symbols and playing with Zeal, playing with Stoic. Um, you know, they're they're going for that uh, Stoic Demeanor and uh, symbolic Avenger, big symbol damage here. So he's going to be a, a bit of a a bit of an interesting build here. There's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a 1v1, -er, a bit of a team fight. So he's got a little bit of support on the Firebrand, but at the same time, he's also putting out a lot of damage and a lot of CC, actually. That Rid of Persistence having this massive AoE daze and some very, very heavy damage output. In addition to healing here, uh, and while spamming out weakness and, you know, having this kind of emergency anti condi bomb too, in addition to just the tomes here as well. Uh, so a really cool build. I do like this build a lot, actually. This is a fun build um, from uh, from Graukton. So let's see how it's actually going to end up working out. Uh, for our French team here as well. And then we've got double uh, double hollow. I think I think you're going to see a lot of double hollow. Like hollow is one of those classes that yeah, it got nerfed, but probably not enough, right? Like it probably needed a little bit more than that. Like, double rev versus double hollow. The variety is insane. Yeah, I mean, look, it's 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 surprisingly more than it was last time. Yeah, hollow replacing scourge. Yeah, sounds super fun. Yeah, and hollow probably definitely needs to be toned down. Same with rev. Both of those classes still have issues. You know, they um. Uh, they still do have uh, some problems with it as well. Uh, but I think, you know, it's, it's definitely, uh, you know, it's, I, I'd rather see that than bloody Scourge, to be frank with you, actually. I mean, that Scourge is AIDS, right? It's just like mega AIDS. Although, and again, look, that looks like AIDS as well, honestly. Uh, but I mean, obviously, blue team, this unfortunately is uh, very unlucky for red team. They're just a group of pugs by the looks of this. Like, what the hell is this guy playing? Like, fucking Jalus Rev, Heal Rev or something like that. I mean, what, what the bloody hell is this? Salvation? Yeah, I'm not some kind of bunker rev, I guess, with the shield offhand. And not really working out very well for them, unfortunately. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be, they're just going to get stomped here. Just very standard holo builds once again. Just the usual, just the usual there. And we do have uh, Justin Bieber, uh, the warrior as well. Again, just playing the standard spellbreaker setup here. Nothing, uh, nothing really new here. Um, I think when it comes to Warrior, if you're a Warrior main, I would definitely stay tuned and see what Boyce is going to play uh, in the finals like, as the games get a little bit more exciting, you know. Um, I may He may end up going over back over to Spellbreaker. Or then again, he may play that uh, base Warrior build he's been playing too. Like We'll have to, we'll have to see what he goes for. Uh, I kind of expect the Spellbreaker. He's, he's obviously much more familiar with that. It's tried and tested. Uh, but I wonder if he thinks that base Warrior is actually really, really good. Um, it'll be really interesting to see if he goes for that tactic setup while still having another Spellbreaker too. We shall see. Don't say that, so they can have Hollow and PvE also, also for the same reason. Well, uh, they, they're they usually pretty good at uh, skill splitting, you know? Pretty good at skill splitting. What amulet does he have? Uh, he plays Menders. You play Menders on this build, like with Traveler. Yeah, this is like a, a very uh, standard setup uh, for this build. You go with uh, Traveler. I'm so, uh, yeah, because you, you want some boon duration, right? For all of your, you know, the big boons you put on people. Uh, you know, you can, you can stack up a lot of really good stuff on yourself. With uh, this hybrid build, and especially, you know, with, uh, you still want to be doing some support with your tomes and getting value out of save yourselves as well. So, uh, well, and contemplation too, right? Like, you can just, like, hard stack boons on yourself. Um, I'm kind of curious if he's going to stay with um, uh, contemplation save yourselves, because in, in a way, like, this, um, it, there, aren't, there, there probably isn't going to be that much condi going around. Like, there'll be some uh, mirages and stuff. Uh, but, like, I guess it's, like, for the team fight, like, if there are conditions coming through from, say, a mirage, or well, I mean, because I don't think there'll be—I don't think we're going to see that many necros in this one. Maybe a, a reaper or two, but other than that, I, I don't think so. So I guess it's just for maybe for the stun break potential, right? He's got those dub, those double stun breaks there. Uh, then contemplation is always a great skill, of course. Uh, but yeah, I'm surprised that we don't see some uh, different choices there. Maybe some more mantras, you know? But yeah, they are really uh, cool stuff here from the hybrid firebrand. Yeah, blue team just kind of cleaning up here, cleaning up, cleaning up. The firebrand has a really well skills, but no, the, yeah, they, that was a very, very big mismanagement there. Are there any interesting team playing? Yeah, I think there's quite a lot of interesting teams playing. Uh, like, how close the finals will be remains to be seen. But I think there are some definitely some interesting ideas. New, cool approaches that we see here. This is an interesting trait here. Blinding Jeopardy. When you inflict Immobilize or Blind on a foe, you also inflict Vulnerability. Yeah, and that is, of course, to synergize with Echo of Truth. Think how AIDS this is, guys. Like, when he uses that, um, that mantra, he's going to apply Cripple, Weakness... Blind and vulnerability to potentially five people. Ouch. 
Yeah, and of course, the same is true uh, for the symbol of blades here as well. Like when he leaps in, he's going to instantly apply 5 volt. And look, I think vulnerability in PvP is one of those things that kind of gets uh, underestimated a little bit, right? Like, if, you get, if you've got, say, 10 volm on you, you're taking 10% more damage, right? So if our boy here is stacking up hard volm all over the place, and all of a sudden, he, you know, he's going to be doing some work. You know, he's really going to be doing some work right now. He really, really is. Uh, like some extra damage. Like you don't want to be taking 10% extra damage, right? In, um, in in PvP. Like you do not want that. I think those are probably the major players. So we've got uh, four teams that I would consider to be major players here on EU. Actually, where's Aeon's team? Because that could actually be a strong team as well. I'm not sure what they're going to play though. I imagine it'll be again kind of team fight focused. Throw some uh, hollows in there as well. Probably be a. I don't. Um, yeah, I haven't actually seen them play yet. So we'll have to kind of keep out an eye out for that. However, what's this? Let's, let's check this. Let's check this game. Let's have a look. You mean the one for a great judges? Yeah, that's 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 the one we're talking about him. You know. Right. We got it. What do we? Uh, what... You can call me God. Oh, a close game. Hang on, lads. Hang on. Blue team just won a big fight. They're getting three kills onto the red team. Ah, I thought we might see this. Here we go. We do see a bit of Reaper play. Thinking, I think some people will try this to try and uh, replace the Scourge with the Reaper to keep that neck, keep that boom pressure up here. Although, well, probably not the best right now. Oh, the big juke. Is that enough? Is he going to get out? I think he's getting out. Whoa, the insane flesh worm. Oh, hit a lock. He needs to get out of here. Red Mirage in a lot of trouble. He's got the Reaper on him. Where's the Fireman? I think the Fireman just arrived here. Here he is. He's just come for the support. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. There's so much damage coming out from Blue Team. Blue Team just destroying the Inward in a 4v2. They do get the res. There goes the Signet, but that's not going to be enough. The Firebrand falls. I think maybe a bit unwise there uh, from Redding to go in there. I think that may have actually been the final throw. I think there will be not much of a comeback potential there. I mean, maybe it's doable. Blue Team did just lose someone. Red Team have got to go now. They do. They do not have time for this. I think, yeah, Blue Team already thinking about bunkering down. The Thief going here. Yeah, he, I think he's just going to bunker it down. They, he's just going to stall. They, he's not even... That's a risky move, actually. I think he needs to get back in there. Like, it's not over just yet, especially with that decap going through there. Oh, no. No. Not the Guardian. There's no way he can get this decap. No, he doesn't get it. The Hollow Nurse is... And that's bad. The Firebrand's out of position now for, for Blue. That's very bad. I think that will, that might give Red enough time to actually get ahead in this team fight. If they get... Oh, no. The Necro. They need to kill this Necro. If the Necro goes down now, this is so bad. Oh, no. But the Necro from Red. He gets picked up by the Thief. Oh, that's very bad. That's really bad. That's disastrous, Fred. But Red does get the decap. They're not going to get the full cap. They're going to get full cap on mid, though. Oh, no. I think BM car going for that decap may have punished them so hard. He wasn't here for the team fight. And as a result of that, they kind of lost it. And now they've got a two cap. Oh, this is a close game, though. This is a very close. No, I can't. No, they forgot about the buff. This is huge. Blue team. They need to be here now! They're not gonna get it. Oh no. Blue team chokes. They forgot the buff in their haste. A triple cap for red. All red have gotta do is not die an AFK on point. Can they do it? Like, it's all. Oh, but that decap. That's a decap. They get the kill there as well. Blue team actually have time now. They have time to do this. They're gonna get that decap here. But red team. I think they're going to try and bunker down mid. In theory, they do win if they're able to do that, I think. It's close, though. They get a kill as well. That's big. Every point counts right now, guys. This Guardian cannot die. Red just needs to hold out a little bit longer. Wait a minute. The two cap. That's going to be a four cap when they get the other side node as well. Hang on a minute. This is getting close, guys. This is huge. Is This is insane. Is Blue going to win? Oh, no. No! Oh! Blue's gonna win! Oh! I can't! This game is insane! Wait. It's so good! Blue wins! Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Two points! Two points in it. That is insane. Insane, guys. Easy. This guy says easy. Yeah. Yeah, I thought Red would win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had it. They had they they got the triple cap, but then um they lost their Reaper. Like they they and they uh they should have just abort they should have just abandoned top buff probably and just like 
well, all spread out and not got decap. They got decap. Blue got hard decaps there. They got, they actually reacted really well there. Like blue was in a lot of trouble, but they used their big brains. Got the didn't panic. Got those decaps and went big. You know, they went big and it feels good. I want to check out Master of Disaster. That sounds like a good name. You know, I, I like the name on that. I like the name. I do enjoy that a lot. Let's check it out. It's more drama than Beetle Racing. It, look, it's very high energy. It's high energy, Ben. Ben, are you are you talking shit about the Beetle Championship? Ben. Whoa. Ah, oh, wait. Master of Disaster is um Aeon. Oh, okay, good. Um Alright. So this is a this is a classic combination here. You've got you've got Pain, you've got Aeon, the ERP power duo. And you've got Master of Disaster. Is this double Mirage? Ugh, guys! What is this? What are you doing? This is nasty. I'm not sure if I like this comp that much though from the uh, from the blue team. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do that much. They got the rev to kill stuff, but I think they're going to struggle to actually kind of have the output that they're going to need to really connect kills, like going into hollows and going into revs. I'm not sure if it's enough. I mean, it's great to have a thief, especially pain, uh, you know, and um, and the rev here as well. Uh, Torben also a very solid revenant player, but. I'm not sure that's going to be quite going to be enough. Like, I mean, I guess they can kind of hold the sides, but Mirage, um, I, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. We shall see how this one's going to go. I mean, it is in favor of blue right now. Pain and A E A E E shoving away the Weaver, Blam Ellie, Blam Thrax. I like that name. I, I do like that. You know, well done. Don't hate me, hate the game, I imagine is the tag there. Oh, on that show, we can't see guild tags. Why can't we see guild tags? Anyway. Uh, so. The game rages on. Uh, the well played by the Weaver. Not dying in that. Um, not dying at, in that 1v2. And even not even letting them get the node too. So, you know, really well played there by Blam Ellie. Pain uh, and a, -A, 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 a Not able to get the kill there on this Weaver. He may be about to fall. No, gets the reset. And now he's got his friend here as well. Oh, he might go down now though. Oh, he's so close. And Weaver, he's sustaining big. Can he survive this? He gets the Kai, gets the evade. Oh. Ends up falling there. Pain takes him out. Gonna die on point just to delay the cap here. Pain moving out. And that is gonna be uh, two nodes in favor of blue. However, Aeon does end up getting taken out in addition to Torben. So losing that fight here and losing their fire and losing their rip, their brick. And uh, the team fight damage there of the Rev. It's not, you're not going to want that. You're not going to want that. This is a close game, guys. Uh, and this is, uh, yeah, these are some, uh, oh, fuck. I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, what's this? Who is this guy? Dome. This is Dome, isn't it? Yeah, the, the Furunculus guy. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, and Thomas Storm. Ah. Oh. And uh, Azrael as well. And I think this is what you will see. Like, uh, Azrael is quite a well-known uh, Necromane on EU, uh, playing a lot of Scourge, obviously. But now has moved over uh, to uh, Core Necro. I think that's something you may see a lot of, actually. I think Core Necro is definitely a solid option uh, to go for and to replace the Scourge. And I love this choice here on, on Lingering Cursor. So you still have that AoE boon corrupt that the Scourge kind of brought to the table. And with the Necro, you can kind of get away with it in a way. You can get away with it because you can... Um, you, you're a little bit more tanky, you're a bit more durable than the Scourge, so you can get away with it and go big. And actually, he's playing an ultra, ultra aggressive build here, going with spite curses for that spiteful spirit. Big Condi bomb there. You know, and oh, I love that. It, this looks like a fun build to play, man. Uh, I'm surprised we don't see Corrupt Boon, though, actually. I, I'm surprised we don't see Corrupt Boon on the Necro, but especially with Master of Corruption. Wait a minute. That's really curious. Wait. Not Path of Corruption? With 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 Core Necro? That's really interesting. That's a really interesting build. Uh coming out from uh from our Necro player here. Huh. I'm really curious about this. I'd love to talk about that build. Uh, it's a go for going for the core number reduction on Plague Lands, I guess, and, and then really focusing on the AoE Boon Corrupt. Uh, but then again, Dark Path is kind of AoE Boon Corrupt too. But hang on, never mind that. Never mind these fucking builds. Because Adult Baby has been taken down here. Spectrum Magic going for And he wants to go for the res. I'm not sure he's going to get that though. Can he get the heal off? He gets the heal. He's got Plague Lands down and lots of AoE. Oh, can he get double kill? Pain! Under pressure! Oh, and Ricky Rat comes in, uh, healing him in Shroud. Maybe uh, not the... Uh, not the best use of his abilities there, but uh, still. 
Not bad indeed. Our oh, dagger offhand making a bit of a show here as well. For a more AoE weakness, AoE being great. I like this, dude. Like this, honestly, I think I'm gonna try this. But this seems like a cool build to play. This core necro business. I like this. I like this, dude. Who says fucking necro is it? Aeon getting ultra pressured. May, uh, Spectral Major going in, in for that big damage. Big necro, big DPS. He doesn't have plagues. He already used it, but he doesn't need it to secure that kill. And even though the fights appear to be going in favor of red, I think blue is just they've got rotation on their side, right? Like. It just seems that red team is not able to connect rotations here. Just um, these classes like, uh, uh, you know, Pain, the Mirage is kind of trolling long enough to deny this, right? Uh, Rev. Uh, so Torben and Pain able to move around and secure kills. So even though those fights, those big fights seem to go pretty okay for red, like they're just not getting any points, right? There's no points here, you know? Where are the points? Yeah. Landing Lekker Shadow 2 is almost impossible. Not anymore. They actually fixed it, uh, this patch, I believe. I think they fixed it. Yeah, and I am the spectate lord. I am the spectate god. It's spectating a free feature in Guild Wars 1. It is, but it had delay there. Uh, they wouldn't be able to implement it in a fair manner in Guild Wars 2 because there, there wouldn't be a delay. Uh, there was a delay in Guild Wars 1, so you couldn't be a cheeky boy. No, the Necron speedruns? No, he's not on speedruns. He is, in fact, on um, Deadshot with Balthazar. Balthazar? He hasn't got any burning. I guess he just wants condition damage and, and more more health, I guess. Yeah. That's what he's about. That is what he is about. Or maybe he just swapped to this and when he thought he thought he was playing Scourge, but actually he's not playing Scourge. Then again, no, he isn't. He can't be, because he's, he's playing Cornecker. Oh, no. Uh, his Guardian gives him burn damage. No, that's actually... Uh, no, his Guardian doesn't. Um, it's, it's based on the condition damage of the Guardian, not of the Necro. Uh, Ricky Rat! Yeah, and this is the thing about Cornecro versus Scourge. It just doesn't have that counter pressure capability. It's not quite the same thing. And that, you know, that Firebrand, he was eaten up alive. He got eaten alive by the DPS pain train of the blue team here, converging now onto the red Necromancer, beating him into the dirt. And moving on to the rest of the map here. And red team, they were starting to come back that they've got that one, though. They have two now, but. From that massive committal of forces from the blue team over back to their home node. They're able to get that and then push back out onto the map. And I think this is almost certainly going to go in favor of the blue team right now. They should be able to get mid. And they're already about 70 points ahead. And if you're on a two cap and you are 70 points ahead, you are pretty damn happy with yourself right now. Oh, especially if you just obliterated their firebrand when they get back into the mix here. Boom! What's the difference between having a stream when someone casts a monthly AT? Uh, the difference is it would be in the game versus out of the game. But I agree, you st you shouldn't um, you shouldn't snipe uh, at, at all. Extreme like, sniping is a very bad thing. If you do that, um, you shouldn't do that. Stop. Bad. Red team though, rallying, rallying here a little bit. Well, except for Ginger Ninja end up dying there. Uh, unfortunately, dude, what is this? really is an adult baby. Oh, Dome's doing work here. He, he'll struggle to survive versus Pain, Torben, and Aeon, but this kind of stalling is really good. I, I wonder if he's going to go back in here. Like, Red Team is doing a really stellar job of actually holding on here in this game, uh, but with two deaths here, I think, yeah, unfortunately, oh yeah, he, he, he that was greedy. Ooh, I wonder if that was actually good. That was kind of a good here. He's delaying that, delaying Aeon. If Red Team wins this fight right now, they can win the game, but they're actually losing the fight. So, yeah. Uh, rip that, unfortunately. Not so good, unfortunately, for the red team. And they're going to lose mid. And with that, almost certainly the game there. Uh, so, yeah. Unfortunate for uh, those teams here. Very, very unfortunate. It does feel bad, but there you go. You know, the core Necro. The Necro has been eliminated from the game. But it, it, it is interesting to see and yet another approach. You know, another... Uh, approach f to uh, the Guild Wars 2 PvP setup right now. You've got the uh, the Thief, the Firebrand. So you've still got Teamfight Focus there with Aeon on Firebrand. But you've also got these two Mirages, right? Like, double Mirage. Like, so very uh, Condi Focus setup, right? And maybe that's what Red Team was struggling with. I think their Firebrand just got blown up by conditions and he couldn't handle it. He just got bursted too hard and he wasn't able to survive it. And ends up getting taken down. Oh, here's a game. Here's a game, guys. Here's a game. Here's a game. Oh, man. This is going to be one of our first big ones. Let me reset that kill countertron, guys. Because we have got 
The Frenchmen. Okay. The fucking wind trade boys. Okay. Well, I think only Esprit is a cheeky boy. I think everyone else is clean. But. Okay. The Baguette. Versus. I believe the reigning champions. Of the AT. It's Chunsu. It's Synod. It's Flandre. It's Sakiki. So it is quite a similar setup here for both these teams. You've got... They're both going to be beating each other down. Right? It's Firebrand. It's double team fighty thingy. So red team favoring the Hollow Smith, And blue team favoring um, double rev and a Hollow Smith. So in the team fights... Blue team should probably have the edge, right? Especially seeing as their firebrand is a full support firebrand. Whereas red team's firebrand is actually a hybrid firebrand. But who knows? Maybe this will actually give them the edge. Like, you, you got to bear this in mind, guys, right? Um, this firebrand may be able to shut down the physical aggression uh, of the enemy team. They they have this, um, you know, they've got the, the mantra here. They've got a lot of AoE slow, a lot of CC spam as well. But I do worry for this firebrand. He may just get focused down and burst. It's so insanely hard that he won't be able to keep up. Oh, I, I actually really like this relog from Fly. Oh, oh, no. No, Fly, please, no. What is this? Condi Thief? Oh, no. Fly. What are you doing? You bad boy. Uh, both teams stealthing up because of the hollow smiths in. Ooh, Grokton gets caught out there, actually. He's out of position. This is already a really bad start for red team. Th that firebrand, he needs to be in the team. He needs to be in this fight. He needs to be helping. Red team caught off here. They're going to end up getting 4v3'd. This is really bad. Like, for, for red, they're, they're going to lose everything here. Uh, that, just the opener there. Disastrous. For the red team, Oki taking out the red Holosmith number one, already falling here. And Graukaton, he's just 1v1ing a Holosmith. Fly's already leaving. He's already going for the decap. Oh, nightmare. Absolute nightmare opener for red. Flash taking out two. Graukaton probably going to end up dead here as well. Uh, after a spree gets kind of cleaned up. Sakiki, yeah, on the rev. Smells blood of the fireband. Elite already been used. I mean, there, there is an F2 tome here. Maybe some kind of CC can save him, but I just don't see this. I think he's done here. Oh, wow. Really bad opener there, And Yeah, he's going to be falling very, very shortly there on the fireband. Just maybe a slight miscommunication from our red team. They just get completely caught out of position. And, and blue team, they pounce. Oh, hang on. Fair play, though. Uh, Two Grogni, he is able to survive. They're able to kite around using all of his cooldowns, though. So he doesn't really have anything for a while. Fully expanding the mantra. But at what cost, guys? At what cost? Losing everything is, 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 the, is the cost. Middle, decapped as well, in addition to fast. So red team's going to have to waste a lot of time there. Uh, recapping that, like Synod even looking to kind of troll perhaps, maybe. Uh, blue team having a 1v1 over there. Flandre versus the Mirage. That will probably kind of just never really end. Like these, you know, these are both skilled players. Like the 1v1 will probably just stalemate forever, if not going in favor of Flandre here on the Weaver, to be frank. I mean, condition cleanse is sparse. But then again, dodging is not on the Elementalist on that build there. Here we go. The team fight is about to start raging again. And once again, a Hollowsmith just destroyed immediately. There's not enough support coming out from this hybrid firebrand. But wait a minute. They get synod. The rampage comes through. Swinging the team fight around. First down state, but also the first rally. And Sakiki, oh no, gets blown up. Chunsu going for the signal. I'm not even sure if that's even a good signal because they're probably going to die anyway here. 4v1 onto Chunsu here. Oh, blown the hell out by that what a ridiculous warrior damage. They might need to tone that one down still. Sakiki running for the hills. Synod gets the stealth. Oh, a lovely stealth there from Synod. But will that be enough? It looks like it will just be enough there. Red team. After that opener, they're looking to get back into this, guys. They are looking to get back into business. They're looking for a two guy. Now, the bell is interesting here. Who is going to take the bell? I wonder if Fly is regretting going for that Thief build. That like maybe the double rev would have been better here. Just to be able to hunt down those targets. Because they kind of... They, if maybe if they had that, uh, they had the rev to just kind of burst down and track people. That would have been a little bit better here. But the Thief, um, maybe not the highest value. And once again, the Oki it does seem to be kind of like... Uh, Blue Team just hates this guy. Right? <laughs> He's getting bursted out. Gets healed though. Good healing coming out. From the red team, but it's just not enough. There's so much damage output. He's got a thief on him. He's got a rev cleaving him down. There's no signet from red. 
because there's not going to be any resin going on there, and that is going to be a team fight win for Blue, but it is so close right now. About six points in it right now, closing down to five. And the bell for Blue should be coming through right now as well. Sakiki so gets blown up here as well, but that's an easy res for Chunsu. With that res trait, with that extra res speed, the 10% there. Flandre securing that no down again, but Red getting a little bit ahead now. Can Red contest the bell? They really don't want the bell to go in favor uh, of Blue. And yeah, they are to do that. Esprit comes in, but Flash gets taken out there as well. Flash Nuda. Can they res him? Could they possibly res him? I think they might be able to do that. They're not going to go for it, though, I don't think. No, they're not going to go for it. They let him bleed out. It would have been a tough res for sure, but you know, well, we'll see. And now it is going to be a 3v3 here. Uh, on the bell, and blue team does have that big team fight muscle of the full support firebrand in the form of Chunsu. Graukathon getting busted out of here. He's getting forced away. Bell not captured yet by blue, though. They, yeah, we see Fly going for it. They should be able to get that locked. There we go. They do get the bell. Guys, for those who don't know how the bell works, right? Like, every time you get a bell, it's worth more. Right, so uh, the fact that they got that first one is really nice. That means the next time the bell gets up, it's going to be 50 points for them if they're able to get that locked down. So, yeah. Uh, red team, they can't really afford to lose another one. Well, well, I mean, they can, but they really don't want them to get that bell. Flandre did win the 1v1 into a spree there as well. Weaver, a very, very strong 1v1 class right now. Uh, and is able to win there with his superior gaming abilities. And that's really good. That's going to free him up on the map and allow them to get a proper outnumber going as well. Especially seeing as their warrior just came off respawn. Fly getting the sneaky, cheeky decap. He gets it. He goes big. He fucking gets it. Feels good, man. There we go. Uh, now the team fight will once again restart. But Flash instantly destroyed there by the big burst damage of the blue team. What's going to go on here? Grogan trying to escape here. I think that's the only way they can, they can do this. Like, they've got to try and disengage. It's like these fights are just not going in favor of red. And things are starting to get out of control now. Like This is how this team wins, guys. This is what they like to do. Okay, They like to go... For the big team fights, they like to snowball the matches, pin the enemy team in their side of that, and just get those points ticking. That's exactly what they're doing here. The bell is up yet again, and well, the timing couldn't be worse for Red. Red team getting cleaned up on the map right now. Oh, hang on though. Sinid a little bit out of position here. Sinid getting caught here. Sinid getting taken out. Is there a Signet available? I believe there is. Is it going to come through? It does not. They get the kill. Signet wasted there as well. Yeah, not ideal there. Oh, no, there's no way they get that, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> that would have been truly ridiculous. Yeah, so I'm trading a few blows here. Definitely uh, still pretty good for blue, though. Uh, Chunsu does not really have any cooldowns right now. Gonna have to kind of just engage. Oh, the rock. The rock lands on stability comes through, though. Denying any kind of big ramage. Oh, dude, that, what, that warrior, he wants him big. What was that, mate? Like, he, tried, he, he wanted him bad, man. Like, Justin Bieber, like, calm down, dude. Uh, this is how his fans usually behave. But no, he went way too deep on the Chunsu there. Went completely insane on him. The bell, once again, is going to go to blue here. Yeah, Flandre sitting on it. Graukaton's going to try and contest it. But I don't think that's going to last forever, unfortunately. Uh, for red here. Esprit gets blown up here as well by the Thief and the Rev. Looks like Flash Nuda is going to be able to escape. Yeah, he's going to go back for the contest, but... Mm, not ideally. I mean, this, I mean here's, this is the one good thing, actually, about... Uh, well, not one, one of the good... Not the one good thing, but one of the good things, actually, about this build from Graukathon. It does have its ability to hold its own in a 1v1 as well. Uh, so he's able to kind of take on Flander there on an even on an even keel, as it were. But oh, it's not even anymore. It's a 3v2. Flash is coming in. But yeah, I, I think we're going to see Red kind of commit to the bell here. Like, when you're already 130 points down, you can't afford another 50, guys. Like, you cannot have that. And Blue Team knows it. Blue Team knows that they cannot afford to lose this bell because here they come. They're getting in here. They're going to go big. And they're going to get this bell. All five of them converging here. They don't call it team fight tactics for nothing, guys. These guys love deathmatch. They absolutely love it. Oh, hang on, though. I've changed my mind. They hate deathmatch. They love Synod more. Well, apparently they didn't love him enough because he's dead. Yeah. He is dead. Unfortunately, uh, not really, uh, you know, well, actually, I guess it wasn't all five of them. There's only four of them, unfortunately. Well, that, you know, they didn't do it right, guys. You need all five of them for the big team fights there. So a little bit of a hiccup there. Uh, for this team, and actually, well, hang on, I don't think this res will be able to come through, there's no, oh, hang on, will that res come through? That will be a big res, if they res that hollow, if Fly goes down here, Fly in a lot of trouble here, taking seriously, getting sun, but no, they're not going to get that res, the cleave comes through, 
from the Revenant. They're not able to get it. And Gravkaton falls as well. And yeah, now that really might be the beginning of the end here. That really might be where it starts to get a little bit on the rough side here. As Esprit is trying to desperately hold on in a 1v3. He ain't getting it though. He ain't getting it. No way. Now, Oki is back as well. That red engineer, he's back in the mix. He's ready to go. But, I mean, they've got a long road ahead of them, oh, especially if that warrior does. If this warrior ends up falling, that is really bad. That's going to set them back so much. Maybe a stealth res could come through, but I don't think it is. Justin Bieber goes down, leaving it as a uh, 5v3 as a spree gets sniped as well. And, hey, one more bell literally ends the game. I think I, w I wouldn't be that surprised if Blue Team just took all five of their players and sat on that bell. Because in a 5v5, they will win, especially when it's not a 5v5. It's going to be a 5v4. A spray desperately trying to self-res himself, but I don't think it's going to be in time. This fight is going to be over long before he gets back off, back up off the ground. And team fight tactics are almost certainly going to take this game, guys. The comeback cannot really happen at this point. They're going to do their best. They're coming into the fight. Graukazon, he's in. He's getting so, so dangerous. Luke just gets his lead off for that invulnerability and gets his toes. I don't. He's not. He doesn't have even have time to use them. There's just too much damage coming through here. Flash will attempt the res, but to be honest, even if they keep stalling this out, they'll be stalling it out under a pile of their own bodies. And there's the bell, and there is the win. All right, what else have we got going on it? Ah, you know, this will be fun. I, I, I didn't check this game. Let's check out this Toby game. I, I don't know who these guys are. Uh, let's see who's uh, who, who are these guys. Who's playing? What's going on? So this is these uh, these BM car boys versus I don't know these guys at all. Oh, it's Fake Sind, Tic Tac Blonde. Interesting. Oh wait, is he even role playing a Sin with the outfit? Yeah, he's he's actually like a Sin in a role player. He's got the same outfit, without the head though. He's like a massive role player. Uh, well, they're also losing. Well, I don't think this is that. This is gonna be the most exciting game ever. You know what? Let's you know what, guys. I know you guys want to see this game. I know you guys want to see this shit. Right. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, we might be seeing the final a little bit early on here, actually. Yeah, the final is going to be coming early with that uh, Syndrome versus Flandre game. I think that's probably what most people would predict. Here we go, guys. We have got Aeon's team versus the Goku Frenchie team. Right now, uh, there, it's a point lead for Aeon, but it is a, uh, a cap lead. For our red team here. And this is kind of that first. It's one of those clashes. It is the more team fight focus. With that firebrand. Versus a comp that's going to be running around all over the map. And just trolling you. Delaying you out. And maybe getting some big snipes as well. I think these. these what's interesting about the red team's comp. Is that even though they don't have the firebrand. Like, they can still team fight. If they kind of get a good, really good engage. If they blow up Aeon immediately. They can absolutely take a fight, especially if they have a brief outnumbered. If they're outnumbered, they can win these fights very easily. And I think that's exactly what we're about to see here. Aeon getting dangerous. Aeon in rank 55 dragons. How about that? Promotion. There we go. Aeon looking like she will end up falling. Oh, Elixir S, though. He's like, oh, Aeon's in the ground, about to get destroyed. But you know what? I'm going to go tiny. Oh, wow. Actually, red team kind of gets battered away there. Phalus looking to come in here and go for the delay. Goku, dangerously though. Healing turret will be up. Will be available to heal up Goku. Get it back against... Oh, blue team gets the bell, though. That's 50 points. They got the first one, too. So this game it might be something to go a little bit sideways for our red team here. They do seem to be getting the kills, though. But I'm just not sure if they can really take this fight. Like, that firebrand will keep this on lock for them. Like, can they get a kill here? Pain coming in here as well. And Pain is going to hunt Phaelith here, right? That's his main job here. Pain has got to make sure that this Deadeye is not going to be free casting. If the Deadeye free casts, it is so bad. Yeah, Torben and Pain are right on him. They need to shut this down now. And I think they're going to be able to do it. Like, there's no firebrand to heal him. Like, he is in so much trouble right now. Like, if that Rev just gets on him, he's in a lot of trouble. And yeah, he will fall here. Yeah, like, that is a, that's a good pickup there uh, for the blue team. Going to be able to lock down mid. Looks like uh, they're going to sides, though. We'll go in favor. Of the red team. Now, the bell will be back at some point as well. That's something that's definitely worth noting here. If the bell comes back and blue team gets it, it's, well, it's game over is what it is. Right, so red team need to win and they need to get a bit of a snowball going very quickly. They, it may not look like it, it's four minutes left on the timer, but they have got, mm, they really haven't got a lot of time at all, actually. They need to go and they need to go now. They need to start winning immediately. If they're not ahead by the time the bell is out, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Oh, and this is not what they need. They 
they cannot have Nubmaster69 dying. He cannot go into the down state. And well, unfortunately, he is in the down state. He is dead. He is the big, big dead. Oh, it's going right now. I want to expect that. I do want to expect that, but I also want to see the end of this game. Luana falling down here as well. Well, actually, I think we've kind of seen the end of this game. I think, unfortunately, that... Oh, yeah, that's going to end it. If the bell's going up now, uh, this... It, well... Yeah, this game is a little bit on the overside, I'm afraid. And Red Team, they were doing well, though. They had it close in the mid-game. But Blue Team, they rallied. They got it locked. They got it fully locked down. And looks like, yeah, you're getting that decap there as well. That's big. They're very far ahead now. Blue Team is almost certainly going to win this game. Let's check out what could be kind of the, the big game, as it were. Like, this is probably the big one. You know, like, this is the big game. We've got Tramadax. Oh, as he is going to be going with uh, with the uh, Mirage setup as well. We've got Tramadex. We've got Pumi. We've got Zintrex. We've got Boyce. We've got Syndrona in a 5v5. Wait, whoa, hang on a minute. What the hell is this? We've got some we got some interesting stuff coming out here from the blue team. We have got uh, Flandre going for Thief setup here. The Staff Troller Thief build here. And then Fly as well also going for that good old Condi Thief. Uh, with the, in addition to the Firebrand Hollow Rev Team Fight Trio that we are so used to seeing from these guys so far. But already, right off the bat, Red Team doing a really good job here of, uh, well, of winning the game. Right, they've got a uh, Boyce in position in a 1v1 into the stuffing. And the thing is, like, there's, there's, I mean, there's not much, uh, not much decap potential here, but hang on, here comes the Hollow. And, like, Staff Daredevil is a very, very annoying build. It's going to run around evading constantly, but I think when there's two here, like, this is when things are going to start to get bad for that Thief. I mean, he's got Dangerstorm. He's going to try and contest for as long as he can, but surely there's no way he can hold out here forever. Like, he is spamming his evades very, very hard, but like, there's no way this can happen, right? There's no way. Yeah, and he is forced to disengage, like, especially with the third player, Sin, coming in there, forcing that disengage. But then again, here comes uh, Flandre and Sakiki, the duo of Destiny. Uh, coming back in to ensure that that stays contested and Boyce looking a little bit look at look at that healing from that eviscerate man what <laughs> I love this build it's not gonna be enough though but it looks like he's in a lot of trouble right now is he gonna get picked up oh Boyce very good kite in there by Boyce Fly gets taken out there with the Signet coming through Signet does come through as well Flandre I'm sorry, Fly getting resurrected at the last second. That thief back up, and now Chunzu is in a lockdown. The team fight. Boyce is the focus here. Is he going to? He does go down. That is big. He, Boyce, is their anchor. He's the guy nobody wants to 1v1, dude. Nobody wants to 1v1, Boyce. Uh, so that is a really big pickup here for Blue Team, and this is a really, really close game right now. Sin solo gets the stealth, though, is able to get the disengage. He was on terms at fly season, though. He wants that kill. No, he realizes it's too late. It's too late. He can't go for it. Back over on the henge. What have we got going on here? Flandre in a 1v2. Pumi and Tramadex are on him. Can he hold out with this Staff Daredevil build, with this Troll build? It looks like he is doing it right now. What an AIDS build. Oh, my God. What? Oh, it's so much. It's so fun and interactive, guys. I, I love it. I love it. And they get Sinned as well. That's massive. That is Red Team's big mobility, big map pressure taken out. That Thief is so critical to this. Mid did get decapped, though. Uh, by his index. That's very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. And our Boyce and Tramadex moving in here. Going to be, uh, come well, 3v2ing into Sin and Chunsu. They may be able to hold out for a little while, uh, but will there be a kill picked up here? Here, there may be Pumi is getting low, but Rampage is here. And there's the stomp and there's the rally. Ladies and gentlemen, the rock throw is big and Pumi is back on his feet. But for how long? Not long enough, apparently. Sindo, the sneaky decap. He is. Oh my god. If he was in Twitch chat, he would say try hard right now. My cap now. Uh, that's what he does, dude. Nice thief play there. Big rotations from our boy. He is back, you know, like riding a unicorn. Pumi does end up falling there. So there is a slight player advantage for our uh, blue team for a while. But will they be able to make anything off that? Because Chunsu is so, so low. Can they keep him up? No, they can't. I don't think they can get that. Resi, the Tramadex coming in for the kill. I don't, yeah, there's no way they can get this. Sin Dizo, it's a Sin Dizo and they rally him. That's huge. Tramadex falls. But wait a minute. Chunsu's down too. Who's going to get the rally here? I think Team Vitex have it. Zindrex is so low. Boys are so low as well. Is this a full cleanup? It's a full cleanup, I think. Zintrax, he's not getting out of that. Oh, that's big. Yeah. That is big. Show Funner's build. I'm not showing his build because I don't want anyone else playing that. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, sure. It's um, this is like a, a bill. I think NA do this a bit more actually. Other than EU, this kind of got, I think it's popularized from NA players, I'm not entirely sure about that. But yeah, it's like the, uh, the staff aids-tastic, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> evasion, aids, dolyak rune, paladin troll build, right? Blue team winning that fight decisively. They don't get a decap on their Fano, but they get a decent capitalization. They stabilize their game. 30 points ahead with a two cap. Flandre in position, uh, to take on Boyce there. Zintrex moving back in again. It looks like red team, they want to go for round two. They want round two. They want to fight again. Chunsu, very cautious, does not want those decaps. He doesn't want to see that. Uh, Sind, go. No. Oh, hang on a minute. That's big. Is Sind in trouble here? Oh, that's huge. That's a big kill. Uh, uh, oh, no. He's relogging. That is big. He is fucking pissed. He is fed up with Condi Thief. And Boyce might be fed up with being alive right now as well. Yes, he is. Flandre gets the kill. Zintrex disengages though. Blue team doing well, playing well here, getting that thief focused down, getting him taken down. Pumi and Tramadex so very low. That Condi thief is always oh, it's gonna maybe get this mirage. Tramadex cutting away desperately, trying to get to a no port spot. I don't think he's gonna be able to do it. Oh, he just gets the cleanse with the jaunt there. Able to survive, but Pumi gets taken down. As well, wait, I'm not, I'm not sure if you want to go that way, Trammer. You're going to go right into Sin and Sakiki there. Oh, uh, Zintrex dies here as well. Sin is back. He's back on Big Sin. Is this going to change? Oh, look at this. Flandre knows he knew that Sin would go for the decap. They're already moving in position. It, wait, the Beast gets aggro. I don't think they're really going for it. Uh, but yeah, just gets aggro there as well. Fly gets taken out here, but is going to get resed by Sakiki. Oh, or is it? Yep, they're going to get that res. Uh, Chunsu coming in there just in the nick of time there. The point lead is gradually increasing here for the blue team. Sinden 1 versus 1 versus Boyce. He probably doesn't want that. Uh, is able to, to not die, though, which is a start. And actually, uh, Boyce is really happy in this one because, of course, the uh, the hollow gives itself barrier. And I think Boyce, does Boyce have that trait? Does he have the execute trait? Uh, he No, uh, yeah, he does. He's got warriors cunning. So basically, if Sinden has over has any barrier on him from any of his hollow spells like Corona, he will actually take 50% more damage from Boyce. And, well, you, you don't want that. Trama gets taken down as well. That is really, really bad, especially seeing as Sinden is desperately in a pretty bad spot. He's got a rev and a condi thief on him. You don't want that, guys. You don't want that. And Oh, wow, well, no, he really does. He may be big, but he's also dead at the same time. Things are starting to look pretty damn grim for the red team. The team fight tactics are just too strong. Wait, tra wait, no. So, Tramadex, he, he's like, fuck, I, I'm, yeah, I'm surprised he didn't go for Rev. Like, he's very known for his Rev and Warrior play, but Mirage. I, I, I've never seen him really play Mirage. He's going back, he's relogging onto the Rev here to try and make a bit of a comeback, but it may have been too little too late because, well, I mean, if you're relogging, you're leaving your team for like 30 seconds and Pumi, he doesn't need that. Neither does Boyce. Like, Boyce is like, hang on, guys. Like, aren't you look, I'm not playing on my Soul Beast anymore. Like, I can't 1v4 anymore. Uh, so, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but, uh, well... It's, uh, it's uh, maybe a little bit of um, a little bit of angst happening on both teams. Boy, somehow surviving that, by the way. Uh, very nice kiting there. Good decision making on the evasion, but Pumi not able to do it. Tramadex is back now, but he's only got 100 points to play with. And honestly, it's 100 points and maybe a triple cap soon as well. Coming on out here. Coming on out. Boyce falls. Zintrex will be falling as well. I think he knows. He knows it's over. Oh, wh ha what? What? Chunsu, come on, man. What are you doing? Are you BMing? Uh, well, I think, to be frank, I think they'll go for Beast. I'd be, yeah, they may end up going for Beast here. They're going to kill this Rev here. They're going to get Trauma, and then they can get the Beast, and then they can end the game. Uh, Flandre in position. No decaps. Trauma's dead. Beast is falling soon, and that is going to be GG. Wow. What? It, oh, oh, no. Better Thief. What? what but there's two of you! Wow. Yeah. Cinder's gonna... <laughs> Cinder's gonna say the game a word. <laughs> He's not gonna say the game a word, guys. Right? Yeah. Why is he saying Flander when it's Miaz? Um, so... It, well, here's the thing. Uh, well, this is my personal take here. Like, I, I I have a bit of a thing with names. If he calls himself Flandre, I'm gonna kill him. Call, call, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna call him Flandre, right? Like, 
I think that if someone changes their name, um, just because like they had another name, you should still call them by the name they choose, right? Like it's a respect thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's a, it's a, it's about respect. If they want to call themselves fucking, you know, like, in, like Snurfle, that's you know that's what you do. You know, it's uh, you know you can change your name at any time. You know, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Chinsu got one hundred percent because AM was losing to them before now. And she's more bad than usual. Oh, come on, guys. Let's let's not be mean. There's no need for any of that. Like Aeon is a very solid player in her own right. All right. So we've got two uh, two teams with the firebrand, but we see the Reaper. I love it. Love to see this stuff. We got ourselves a Reaper here. Um, we have a thief on both sides as well here as well. But a the Rev and the Double Mirage. On the blue team here. So let's see how this one actually ends up going. Blue team instantly contesting as well. Like, I think red team, it, it, the onus is on them right now. They've got to do something. Right, because they're getting uh, they're getting pushed. Their, their close is getting pushed by one of the Mirages. And the Mirage is also winning his 1v1 very strongly. He's about to win it. He wins it. Yeah, so not only are they... They, they failed to capitalize on their temporary outnumber on mid. They also lost their 1v1 on home and didn't push far. So... Oh, that's a, that's a rough one for uh, for our red team here. Oh, hang on. That's a lot of kills. Let me reset those kills. Yeah, that's a bit on the rough side for red team. And, well, I, I think they're probably going to end up losing mid as well, to be frank. I mean, yeah, uh, Saru, he's going to get destroyed by Torben and Pain. And, well, that firebrand, he's like, oh, where is everyone? All oh, my friends are gone. Ah, get me out. Well, yeah, he's, he's screwed. Renewed focus, so he's got some he's got some meat in him. Well, is he even gonna have time to use it? He does go for it, but well, he's only really delaying the inevitable on that one. I mean it's it's yeah. It's, tries to group up with his Reaper again. His Reaper's already dead though. Um and, and now he's dead too. Uh to be honest, he's he's very dead. Yeah. Very, very dead. Uh, Warrior, well at least he's getting you know, he's gonna have some points on the board at least, but BM car is gonna fall. What's the thief doing? The thief is gonna try and do something, but uh, versus Pain, you know, Pain is always going to be a very, very dangerous contender. And yeah, Pain makes quick work of him. He's taken out there as well. The Reaper's back, but wait a minute. The Reaper, he's a Necro. He's got no fire. And what's he going to do? You know, die in a very aggressive manner is what he's going to do. Oh, no. Why did he go out there? Like, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh no. He's going to get away. Maybe the Flesh Worm can save him. Oh, uh, oh, uh, Port. Oh no, but he put it right back into pain. Like, this is not what you want to be as Reaper. He's got none of his defensive cooldowns left over. Oh, that's not good. Doesn't even get the blind. He, oh, he, oh, 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 and splat. Off he goes. Off he goes. You can call me God. Well, I'm afraid. Uh, I think I'm afraid. I have to call you a false God because you're not going to be able to take down Torben. Torben blows him up. And he blasphemes against the God. Mm. Red team needs to regroup here. Like they're, they're making um, kind of a bit of a solo queue mistake here. If they want any hope of winning, they've got to get a regroup going on. It no, like don't go in. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, yeah. Like, oh, well, maybe you can get this. Oh, he might actually get that. Nope, nope. Thief denies it. Uh, no way that's going. Like blue team is just farming them at this point. Like this is a big mistake from red. Like they need to regroup. Look, look. Firebrand dead. Reaper just off respawn. He's pushing far. So now you win games, guys. Don't do this. This is like, I'm looking at ranked. I'm looking at fucking ranked. You know what I'm saying? What is this? What's going on? Yeah. That should be a leaderboard by being bought, blocked by the most people. I wonder how many people have me blocked. Probably quite a lot. I think a lot of people don't like me. Not that many people, actually. I, I think I'm quite friendly. Um, well, I, I, I have very little to say about this game, unfortunately, guys. This is, uh, what? Well, I mean... Yeah, 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 I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit rip, you know, like, he's dead, Reaper's dead again, Firebrand is, he's on the other side of the map, 1v1ing Aeon, oh, I think they've given up, oh no, they've given up, feels bad, man, unfortunate stuff, guys, it really is unfortunate, but, oh well, there you have it, like, this is a, you know, a bit of a, bit of a crappy game, it's, it, I, I think they're just gonna, yeah, they're just gonna AFK it, they have unfortunately given up in the semi-finals, I mean, come on, who gives up in the semi-finals? These guys, apparently. Oh, the Warrior's still fighting. He wants to take this Mirage down, but I think he's the only one who's still doing something. Oh, well, actually, you know, they, they've started playing again. Oh, it's a little a little late for that, though. Poor old Podmac Bato getting 4v1 trained down. Infernal Bloodstorm trying to move in, trying to assist. Will he be able to do anything, though? It seems 
Quite unlikely to me. Oh, hang on. Oh. The Reaper spin spin. The spin to win. Pain able to evade it, though. Oh, that blindfit will probably kind of forestall their, their judgment for a while. But it is only delaying their inevitable demise. Although, they are on a proper good kite spot here. It's like no one really able to get there. No one wants to go near that Reaper, dude. Like, no one wants to be near that. Okay? Because you're going to die. And hey, look. They got a point. Look at that. The warrior. He, he, won, he got it. He got his 1v1. The Mesmer forced off, running away, flailing around, deciding he's going to go for the Beast instead. Why, why do Mesmer's always pick this mask, by the way? I hate this one. This one's rubbish. Like the, is that the Mask of Anguish, I think? No one likes that one. Well, you know, he's like, you know what? Fuck getting the point. I won the Beast. Oh! Holy shit! He stole the Beast! What a fucking gamer! Holy shit! What a god! Oh, and he kills the Mesmer! Pull! And then the spin! Oh, the distort! Wow, what a beast! You can call me God. Actually, a God gamer. Unfortunately, though, for the red team, their time in this tournament is well and truly over. It is over. Yeah, well, there you have it. The game has finished. We're going to find a bracket rule this time. Unfortunately, um, you, can, you can kind of see the bracket a little bit. If you go ahead in the tournament UI in PvP, and you click on match history, you can see how things kind of went down. There's not a bracket yet, unfortunately. Um, even if you are a uh, hacker like me, because uh, I've actually hacked into the game, uh, you can you can't really see a bracket. You can see matches, but not brackets. They updated this UI as well, actually. They updated that shit too. Mm. Yeah, is that Mesmer Misha? Oh, is it Misha? How about that? Well, onwards to the finals. So the finals is going to be between uh, the Aeon team and the Flandre team. I'm curious to see what both teams will actually play. I think these guys, um, the Aeon team, are going to be playing this exact comp. Going with the Double Mirage, Revenant, Thief, Firebrand. But I wonder what Flandre's uh, lads are going to pull out of the bag. And they had a few, um, you know, they had a few tricks up their sleeve. You know, a few little tricks. We'll see. We will see what they have. Yeah, 500 is a win trade. It's not going to be a win trade, guys. Like, this is the bloody crown, right? It's the fucking crown, dude. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the, the shield at last. So, how is this going to go down on the red team? We have Master of Disasters. I love this name, dude. Uh... On Mirage, regular old Mirage, Bountiful Disillusionment, Infinite Horizon, Deceptive Evasion, with Staff and Axe Pistol, Scepter Pistol, sorry. Aeon on good old Firebrand, Mender, Flock Rune, regular old traits there, big heals, big support, all the good stuff. Pain on the Speedman Thief, the Thief Lord himself. Uh, moving away from Improv, actually, this trade did get nerfed pretty hard. So he's going to Executioner instead of Improvisation. So he's, he's actually forsaking the uh, the double stolen skill. Maybe not the biggest value against these classes here uh, anyway. So yeah, just going for, uh, going for more damage. Going for that big, big Execute damage on the Thief. Because, of course, Improvisation did actually get nerfed. Like, it, doesn't, it can't recharge your Elite or your Heal skill anymore. That's a big deal, guys. It is a big deal. Lil Nephi. On the Mirage as well. The same build as Misha. But this is a well, it's slightly different. It's with the Axe Pistol instead of Scepter. Going with the Axe Trait instead of Desert Distortion. There's also some slight differences. And of course, Torben. With the Rev. Big damage. Going with a Demolisher over Marauder. Going to have that tanky boy elements there as well. And then into the Sinity. Oh no. No, not again. Come on, have mercy on us guys. Why the double aids again? Oh no, so you've got that team fight comp of the Firebrand, the Hollow, and the Rev, and then the Apocalypto Aids of Double Thief, Staff, Troll Thief, and Condi Thief. What are these guys doing? Do they hate the player base of the game or something? How could they do this to us? Oh, wait. A A Aeon Aeon's dead. Well, I didn't see that one coming, actually. I, I wasn't even paying attention yet. I was ready for some, some good old faction gaming, but uh, none of that is even necessary because they just destroyed 
enemy firebrand, that blue firebrand not surviving at all for just a microsecond of life there. And without, well, with no team fight potential left over, I mean, like, they're, they're, in a, they're in a world of hurt right now. And blue team already getting quite the edge here. Quite the edge indeed. Flandre, I mean, like, do they even, did you just ignore Flandre at this point? Like, no one wants to play against, like, Perma Evade Thief. No one likes that shit. Synod nearly gets caught out by Torben, though. Insane damage. Chunsu here for the support. He's ready. Pain gets taken out, though. He's in the full dead state. I mean, well, oh, oh, this is not looking good. This is really not looking good for red team already. Flandre, he seems very comfortable in this 1v2. And it's not a 1v2 anymore because Synod and Sakiki move in. Like, Chunsu and uh, Fly just kind of holding on to mid. Chunsu is going to be able to sustain uh, for quite a long time here. Torben getting very ultra pressure. He's got no glint heal. Doesn't have many cooldowns. The firebrand does arrive. Aeon arrives just in time to go for the support. But so many conditions on Torben. Torben in a lot of trouble right now. Can Aeon keep the sustain? Is in Tome 3 right now. Should be able to keep him alive. Glint heal will be back in about 15 seconds, I want to say. That's, I think Torben is okay for right now, but is Sakiki okay? That's the real question here. Both Firebrands are here, starting to get through a few of their cooldowns. Will the Glint Heal be back in time? No, it will not. I think the res... No, that, no, you're not getting that. Not with all that damage. You're getting it in the Signet, though, but, well, at the cost of her own life, by the looks of it, Aeon kiting away, gets onto the house. Is that going to be enough? It may well be. Torben comes in. Can he save Aeon? Maybe not. Well, no, not at all, unfortunately. Aeon gets taken out by the team fight damage of the blue team. But, look, you've got pain on the team. Flandre falls here. Now, that's big. That's a big kill. They need to get it, though. The signet, though. I see that signet. Yeah. Unimpeded there. No interrupt available to shut that down. So, yeah, good job there. Good fucking job from Chunsu, not allowing that to destabilize. Torben falls here as well. Not enough support. Pain bleeding out. Aeon bleeding out. Everyone bleeding out. Honestly, I, I think it, Blue Team is playing this so safe, by the way. They're playing it so safe. Like, they don't even care about far. They're just gonna grind. They are just going to grind the enemy team down. They hold home, they get mid, and then maybe they try and decap far, but I don't even think they're really going to sweat it too much. There's not going to be an overkill. Well, never mind. They're going to actually just going to instantly get a kill on Lil Nephi. But they're just, I think they're very careful with not overextending here. And I'm, I doubt he'll even go for the full cap. Oh, no, he looks like he is going to go for it. Actually, I think they probably can. At this point, it'll be foolish not to. And, like, red team. They, yeah, this is how blue team wins games. Look how pinned they are. And on this map, by the way, guys, it's so hard to break out of this. Look, they can just AFK here and wait for them to try and push up here and just annihilate them. Like, this is a horrible spot uh, for the red team. And this is a potential overextension. This is going to be a 4v3 here. Sakiki, Chunsu, and Sid. This could actually be a mistake from blue here. They are going to be 4v3 here. They may end up... Uh, losing ground. It's Sin disengaging. Chunsu may not be able to do that uh, quite as effectively. It looks like he may be able to do it anyway, though. Yeah, he's just going to go. Yeah, they, oh, wow. A blue team not punished there. They realize. They realize that they need to play very defensively there. Sin going back in, though. This man's crazy. What is he? Okay. Let's go. 4v3. Can they pull it off? Here comes Fly. Fly is now arriving here. They, they are able to sustain the 4v3. I mean, they engage perhaps a little bit early, but Aeon is the target. Aeon is the target. The Mesma on the other side of the map is dead. A -A 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 is dead. Aeon in involve phase right now will have all of her cooldowns back right now. So maybe that elite will give her that extra longevity they need to win this fight. But I don't think it is. It's not going to be enough. There's just too much damage coming out here. On to Aeon. Synod though gets taken out. There we go. That's where that X, maybe that extra sustain from that elite does come through. And the slightly early engage from blue. I mean, look, I jinxed them. I said they were playing really safe. But, well, that's not playing safe, guys. Going in on a, on a 3v4. I mean, that, yeah, that's, that's crazy. They aren't going to get punished too hard for it. They've still got a 2 cap. And as long as they don't lose another player, it's going to be okay. Oh, Pain, though. Pain gets a big kill. Is able to take down Fly. I don't think there's a Signet available right now. No, there is not. Just got used on Sakiki, of course, over on the far node. And yeah, guys, you do have to be careful. You do have to be careful with this kind of overextension. This is a big punish. A big punish here, guys. And as you can see, they do lose the entire map, actually, as a result of that. Like, guys, like, look, I don't care how good you are. Like, a, a 3v4 is never going to be fun. And, look, that, see, this is how quickly it can turn around, guys. Look at that momentum swing. Look at that. Suddenly, red team is in the driving seat. They're going to be looking looking at a two-cap here uh, at the bare minimum here. Going to be able to get far uh, and mid. How about both the thieves are blue? They're moving over there. They want to get... And they, it's Chunsu. If they get Chunsu, this is so big. No, they don't get Chunsu. In fact, the opposite. They lose pain. 
No, and the signet gets cancelled. The oh no, the kind of the opposite there happened. They do get transferred. They need. They absolutely have to get this. They need this now. If this gets res, it's over. Well, not over, but very bad. They need that kill. They get it. Can they get Sakiki as well? Aeon is around for the support. What's cooldowns on Aeon? Aeon has cooldowns. Sakiki's dead too. Synod may fall. No, don't stomp it. Oh, oh, oh. okay, All right. The big stomp. That's okay, though. They're going to offset the kills. They're going to offset the kills. That's good. That's big. That's big. He was going to die pretty quickly anyway. They, they can't let the res. They can't let the res happen. Synod, he's trying desperately to get away. He's got no corners. Oh, no. This is coming to stagger. Do they get the knock? They get the knock. There's no signet. Oh, no. I can't. What, what, this is crazy. And now Chunsu's alone. Could they possibly kill him again? Oh, no. Chunsu must not die here. Sakiki's in. The Firebrand should be able to make this 2v2 pretty nice. Uh, for uh, the blue team here. Just too much support. They won't be able to get it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, all right. Okay, blue team, they're starting to get some control back. They're contesting mid. They've got a no. They've got far. They have the windmill. Let's see how this game now unfolds. Red team showing those signs of life. Showing that they can, they can definitely do this. This is doable for them. They're okay here. That red mirage mustn't die here, though, for red team. Oh, well, yeah. I said they were showing signs of life, but, I mean, that's that's all it was, guys. It was a little blip on the scanner. Uh, and, unfortunately, that blip, it's gone now. Pain falls. Aeon is now the next target as well. Does have her elite. Can she get the signet? Maybe. No, doesn't get it. Not quite in time. Does cancel it, though. There's the invault. Yeah, I think that's that's not going to be enough, I'm afraid. That's still going to be a very, very dead firebrand. Flandre going to be in a 1v2, but, well, I mean, like, I, I'm pretty sure, like, the amount of evades he's got, he can, he can you know, wait several years before his team gets here. Uh, just going around dodging like a complete madman. Uh, well, actually, no, he is going to disengage. I mean, he's thinking, oh, yeah, like, two, that's okay. Three, maybe a little bit too much. Fly, securing home there as well. Going to be two cap for blue, and, mm, yeah, things are starting to look a little bit grim. Flandre, uh, denying the cap there as well. Nice deny there by Flandre. Gets the big deny. Should be able to stall that pretty much indefinitely. I, I mean, I, I mean, the Mesmer doesn't want to give it up, right? Like, he, he really doesn't want to give it up, but he's got no hope of really winning this, I don't think. I, I just don't think it can be done. Like, Chunsu dies. So does Aeon, though. Yeah, so both teams losing their farmers. Synod gets destroyed. Torben! The big damage from Torben coming out. It's like crazy. All right. All right. Synod in the dead state as well. Oh, no, hang on. He's. I wonder if he... I would ever get him. No, no, they're not going to go for it. They're not going to go for it. Red team not having the easiest of time with this Aeon team. Like, what, what the hell is this, dude? Like, this is like fucking like bunker meta, dude. They're just like jumping all those. Torben ends up falling. And this is the thing, guys. Like, when you're, when you're in this situation, when you're 200 points behind nearly, you do tend to play aggressively. You play desperately. You need to do something to come back. And, you know, red team, they went too hard, right? They, they over it. And they pushed into the respawns of blue. And, well, they paid the price. And the price may be the game. Like, red team have mid, and they looks like they may be able to somehow force Flandre off the point eventually uh, with Pain coming in to deal with it. But look at this. Look at him go. He's got dagger stuff. He's fine. He doesn't give a fuck, dude. He's got his block. I oh, know. Flandre, no, he's out of stuff. He's out of. No, I think. He, well, yeah, then red gets the contestant as well. So Flandre will leave now. He can't really decap the Mesmer either. And now the fight for mid begins. But the fight for mid is a fight that red team has already kind of won. Like, they've got a two guy. They're ticking away. They're ticking away right now. Uh, you got Payne and uh, Flandre. Sorry, Payne and Torben. Trying to take down Flandre and hold this note. But, I mean, he's, like, once again, like, the whole thing is very handy. 1v2 here. I think it's like AAE and Aeon do get killed here. And, well, now that makes it a 5v3. And, well, I don't know, guys, like, you know, if you know about mathematics, you know that that's not good. You know, that's, uh, that, that's bad. Right? Very, very bad indeed. Well, this may end up being a, a bit of a rough game. Like, blue team. Their team fight tactics are coming through. Looks like they are going to be able to win this fight and shove the uh, red team away, especially if they're able to get pain. If they kill pain, that's when things really start to get a really bit dicey because then they don't have that map pressure on. Yep, they do get him. Sakiki and Flandre take him out. And this is kind of the curtain call. 90 points to go, guys. 90 points to go. Uh, well, I think that death is pretty much the nail in the coffin. Without Torben, without the big team fight boy, it's not going to be enough. They're going to desperately go for the res, but 
I don't think they're getting it, man. I am not seeing it, I'm afraid. Yep, no, Sinid lands on a Torben to get the kill. His big rifle jump. And with that, I fear the game may be approaching its end. Unfortunate gaming. Sin giving away some codes. Some big codes. It was a used code, to be fair. I mean, that was probably because someone else sniped it, man. They got the big snipe. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Pick up those codes. Thanks, Sin, by the way. And thanks, Sin, for the host, by the way, dude. I, I didn't call that out because I was distracted. But yeah, re really appreciate it, dude. Thanks a lot, man. Of course, uh, good to see you back in the game playing Monthly AT. Taking a little bit of break from World of Warcraft. Yeah, we're doing a next year tomorrow, so yeah, should be a guild run too. Yeah, 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 that's good. Yeah, so well played by both teams uh, at this point. Uh, even, well, timer will decide this like one way or another. It's almost impossible uh, for red team to really win at this point. Flandre is just going to jump around in circles until the game is over, I believe. And that really won't be that long at all, I'm afraid. But a close fought game, you know, I, I think this game was actually fairly close fought uh, by both teams. Both teams really kind of gave it their all here. Uh, red team certainly not quite doing it there, and blue team kind of really showing that they, they still, you know, even without Scourge, they can still they can still perform where it counts, getting those big team fights, that big ass gameplay, uh, bringing it to bear and getting those kills, winning those team fights and winning the crown. Congratulations to the blue team. Team fight tactics. I think they actually, they don't have the crown, actually. I believe they don't actually have the crown. And now they do have the crown. So, uh, you know, well done them. Well done to them.